used to run engineering at Apple Computer, and I, and I knew Steve well. And I remember talking to Steve one time, and he was talking about, he was very hot, ironically, on building a mobile application platform with thousands of applications that would be focused, he thought, initially on health, which was the ironic part. Uh, and, and so he had looked really hard, and they were thinking about putting this application platform on iPods. And what he figured out is that the iPod was not ubiquitous enough, and he needed this application platform to be everywhere, and he needed it to be on something that typically would be uh, upgraded quite often. And so, obviously, what happened is we got this. And, and a lot of people think that Apple's idea for this was all about a better phone. And it wasn't about a phone. It was about a platform where hundreds of thousands and now millions of applications could be developed that are going to change people's lives. Only one of the applications on here is a phone. So the idea of a platform is really, really critical. And if you talk to cities or if you talk to anyone who buys these sensory systems and you ask them what problems they got, they all, not all, but many of them have unique uses or applications that they'd like to solve. And if you have to build a vertical application solution for every single one of these, it's never going to happen. So the idea that you would build an application platform that has what's called an API with thousands of applications that make use of all this data that is gathered by one network, which is attached to the lighting, is extremely powerful. That's what we call a light sensory network. So that's the basic idea. And now I want to talk a little bit about inertia and, and how we make this happen. So. Uh, Continuing with the mobile phone analogy. So the CTIA is an industry association. In fact, they won't let you, they won't describe it. On the website, they say uh, the name, uh, what do they say? The name stands, CTIA stands for nothing. Because what it used to stand for is the cell phone, cellular telephone industry association. And they've gone so far beyond cellular telephone, that they don't even want to be associated with it. In fact, what they call it is now, their, their new conference, which is for them the equivalent of LFI, is called Super Mobility. So, but let's go to that first show. So, at that first show, which was in, back in 1984, this was a cell phone. Some of you may have actually used these. Um, so, this was a cell phone. And I'd like to now take what happened with this cell phone and with the CTIA and talk about what I think will happen to this industry and what will happen to this conference, just to give you an idea of what change will be. So this is 1984. Let's call this an HID fixture. Been around for a while. We know it. We understand it. It delivers light. It's got certain characteristics. So here's our HID fixture. Then Motorola got really inspired, and we came out with induction lighting. So now we've got induction. Same thing. Same, you know, I, I, uh, same type of frequencies, everything else, just smaller, better. So this is induction. And then we got really inspired and came out with LED. So here's an LED equivalent. Same industry, just moving down the path, doing effectively the same thing, just better cheaper, faster, smaller. And that's what's been happening in lighting. But what we're talking about, of course, is this. And that's what's going to happen. So think of CES, think of CTIA, which is now supermobility. Our whole world is going to change because I'm telling you, all of these customers around the world who are actually trying to solve the problems of making better, life better for their citizens, all of them have figured out that lighting is the perfect place to build a system like this. And so our industry, and I know we're going to do it, we're going to adopt this, is going to, I think, change a lot. And this is a huge opportunity for us.